Thanks for taking the time to talk about your research, Dan. What are the biggest differences in prospecting since you got into the business? Well, as you know, Tina, I've been in the business for just about 30 years now. So when I started back in the late 80s, competition wasn't nearly as fierce. The public didn't have nearly the knowledge that they do today. And really, no one had access to the information through technology that they do today. So when it comes to prospecting itself, back then, cold calls, door knocking, referrals absolutely, but it, cold approaches were fine. But since that time, what we found is that the best advisors, the world-class advisors, really use technology to the best of their ability and to build big businesses. If you dialed 50 numbers today, how many people would pick up? You know, with the world-class advisors, they've got great focus, and what they're focused on is not necessarily the prospect, but their clients. And what they really focus on is their best clients. And then they copy them. They copy them by getting referrals from them. They copy them by getting introductions from them. So what they're really doing is creating an ideal client profile, and that's who they prospect to. What about getting introductions through the workplace? All of your clients that work, they work with other people. A lot of those other people are going to be just like them, your ideal client, or through their families. How can advisors use social media to prospect? Great question, because I know a lot of advisors are trying to use social media, but the reality is most advisors are on social media, but not really utilizing it in any, any shape, any fashion that really helps them grow their businesses. So when we look at social media, it's like virtually anything else a financial advisor needs to have which is a process. So if we look at, say, LinkedIn, for instance, what we want to do is not just connect with individuals, but let them know that we're connecting with them. What is LinkedIn's mandate? Social media, right? Connect professionals with other professionals. That's what it's there for. Today, you need to warm up a prospect. They need to feel that they know you and you need to put enough effort in, but very systematic, process-driven effort, so that you can actually warm them up, let them know who you are, let them know what you do, and at the end of it, set an appointment to get together to show them what they do. What do top advisors do that average advisors don't do? Top advisors, really world-class advisors, all have one thing in common, process. Targeted introductions different from referrals because we're never going to ask for referrals. On the other hand, at absolutely every opportunity, we're going to ask either to have someone introduce us or for us to introduce ourselves. Can you imagine that if I met with every single client and I've already got that introduction in mind, how many introductions to the right people I would get? Like there's no ad hoc, there's no guesswork. They know what they're gonna do at A, and by the time they're at Z, everything's gone according. Right from the structure of their business, how they operate technically, how they run it and manage their business, to how they prospect for clients. It's all process driven. There's no guesswork. They start each process, they work through it, they finish the process. And that is really what makes them a world class. Advisor. Thank you so much for speaking with me today, Dan. I look forward to reading your next book.